red shirt this year that I know of. Should know something else. Always. <laughs> do I check? <laughs> uh, do you have a starting lineup decided on for this game at least? Uh, Sean Kemp, Shenard Giroux, Mike Anderson, Nigel, and uh, Andrew. So we'll start with the what have you seen from Gennard over the last few months in his recovery? Still trying to regain his, uh, oh, his uh, touch isn't the word I'm looking for. That'll knock the rust off a little bit. His timing, I guess. Regaining his timing with some things. But uh, it's, it's been really good to have him back. Uh, not only have him back, but the new age. He improved last year, but now he's doing those things with a little more muscle, a little more strength. So he just, you can run your offense through him. You can, you can guard one through five, and switch any position. You can put the ball on the floor, make a play for himself, others. The versatility of his length just gives you a dimension that's hard to find. How has his, his rehab from that been compared to other guys, other ACL guys you've had? It's been, it's been good. You know, the, I remember, you know, Abdul Gaddis, uh, Artem Wallace, you know, those two tore their ACLs. Uh, Abdul's was, you know, it was a seamless transition to rehab to get back to the floor. There was no swelling. With Gennard, there was in the very beginning, just a little bit in the summer, but since then, I mean, he's been running like crazy. And he hasn't had to sit out for anything, and there has not been any swelling, so it's been good. Uh, Pat Jenkins, and our doctors, and Coach Phil have done a really good job with him. And he's done a good job of working hard to get back. With him being able to defend one through five, like you said, that, are there scenarios or matchups where we could see Robert? Sean and Gennard all on the floor at the same time? Probably not. You know, that, that always sounds good, like, wow, look at all that length. But when you're actually talking about one of those guys is going to have to guard a Chase Randall coming off a single double screen, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. And uh, at that point, you don't have as many playmakers on the floor. So you probably won't see that. Someone tells you, you have Robert Upshaw this season. How, how big is that for you this year? Well, he is such a presence in the middle defensively. and It's one thing to be able to block shots. It's another thing to know that you're good at it. And he has developed a little bit of a good blend of... When you're going to the rim against a really good shot blocker, you need to have a plan. You need to go hard. You can't tiptoe through there or fall away. They don't block your shot. Well, now you get everything together, you grit your teeth, okay, come on, big fella, and he'll take a charge. So not a lot of guys do that. So he kind of balances that with that. He's, he's, he's good at protecting the paint, and we, just, we didn't have that luxury last year. Can you talk about um, Sean this year versus this time last year? Sean is totally different. First of all, he's much stronger. And forget about the illness. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about in the weight room. He just, he moves guys. I mean, guys defend him in practice and he posts up. You see guys take a step back. And he now, when he's in that game, understands what we want so much that he's just been steady. He's been steady all the way through. Has there been improvement on the defensive shot blocking rebounding side from him as well? Not as much. Uh, his defense is better because his floor position is better. He rotates better. He knows where to go. He's he's not uh, an intimidating shot blocker. That's not who he is. But uh, the things that he does do, is you better run the floor with him every time because he runs the floor. He's fast. You know, we talk about Robert knowing he's a good shot blocker. Sean knows he's fast and knows most big guys can't run with him. So, you know, with our guard pushing the ball up the floor, Sean will get a lot of run outs over the top. Can you, can you play up Shaw and Sean at the same time? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Did, uh, 
did he get the start because he's just been so steady? Or? Yeah, he, he's just been steady every day, every day, just been steady. Just in general, Lorenzo, just this is the time of year where you're kind of maybe of two minds, where like you're ready to go see him play an exhibition game, but at the same time you might think, yeah, we could use another couple weeks. Where, where are you at right now with this team? Let's go play, <laughs> but we can use a couple weeks. <laughs> but let's go play. We, gotta, what we don't have right now, we got to get it on the fly and work, but let's go play. Uh, uh, we were able to have our closed-door scrimmage, and I was probably as anxious of any one of those scrimmages that – uh, we've ever had just to see. All right, is what we're seeing in practice real? And that was one of the reasons I was so anxious. And, uh, it was good. It was good to see. So playing in an exhibition game again, can't wait to play it. Now you said it was good to see, but did it? Did you realize the? Exp- I mean, was it up to your expectations? Yes. Yeah. What are you hoping to see tomorrow night? Just from your group in general. Uh. Like in the scrimmage, and again, I can't say much about the scrimmage, but to continue to execute the things we've been working on, offensively and defensively. Uh, one of the main things that we're looking at is how long we can sustain an effort. Because uh, in the beginning, we'll be down in a stance, we'll talk, we'll run the floor. Can we do that for 40 minutes? That's what we have to be able to do. Today, we, we haven't been able to do that. Can you talk a little bit about the makeup of the team? I think, you know, one of the things that people mentioned last year is, you know, it wasn't as tough as some of the other teams that you had had. It wasn't as resilient as some of the teams that you've had. What's, what's the makeup? Is this team a little more resilient, tougher? This team is definitely tough. And this team and definitely way? has more of an edge to it. And uh, we were talking this morning in our, our staff meeting. When you look at Sean Kemp, who is a senior, when you look at Andrew Andrews, who is a senior academically, but uh, is in his third year college, when you look at Mike Anderson, who is a fifth year senior because he redshirted in college, uh, uh, Gennard is fourth year in college, and then Nigel just plays beyond his years, a guy like Quevin Winters, who uh, has already played Division One basketball at Duquesne University. We're sneaky old this team is. So we're tougher and we're older and I think we have more experience. Where has that experience really shown up for you from the get-go this year? Uh, We pick things up quicker than we have in the past. Uh, The guys, even though we have new guys, when we're talking about Donovan Dorsey and Clevin Winters and basically Robert Upshaw and uh, some of the other guys, uh, guys still have picked things up see it right there. We do a pretty good job of taking care of the ball. We play more at our own pace as opposed to trying to rush. And with the up-tempo, sometimes you're going, John wouldn't be quick but not be in a hurry. Sometimes we're in a hurry. But for the most part, we're quick and we're not in a hurry and that has a lot to do with, I think, our experience. Do you feel like this team is going to be better in transition in terms of finishing? Yes, definitely. The guys talk a lot um, at media day about pushing the tempo faster and faster. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're seeing so far? You're going to be able to push the tempo? And yeah, again, like we've talked in the past, if you can't impose your will on a team defensively, they can hold the ball all they want. And we have not been able to impose our will the last, last couple of years. I think this year we'll have more of a defensive presence, which will enable us to get the ball in situations where transition has been created. But then again, as you mentioned about finishing, a lot of times we were up-tempo and couldn't make the shot, so it didn't matter. So <laughs> we just we have more players that can make plays and finish. So it will be different, hopefully, this year. Are you more optimistic about this season than you were this time last year? Uh, about last year's team at this time last year or this yeah. year's team last year? Than you were about last year's team. <laughs> Did I confuse you? <laughs> yeah. I might have confused you. Yeah. More optimistic about coming into this season. Uh, well, I got to backtrack. Last year I was optimistic too, and then we got hurt. I was optimistic that you know Paris Blackwell was now going to be able to play, and you know Gennard Giroux had improved 
and you had now we had Paris and Sean who were going to be able to be stronger, and, and you know Jannard was going to be able to come in there. We had a freshman coming in, Nigel William Goss. We had some guys coming back, and and guys started to get hurt. So, but I was optimistic going into last year.